With all the latest news, travel and weather, you're waking up to this Friday now. It's Good Morning Britain. Good morning, Britain. Flooding causes chaos and misery for many across parts of the country. Homes evacuated, trains cancelled and stranded drivers rescued as heavy rain wreaks havoc. Well, here in Nottinghamshire, the council has declared a major incident with fears over the River Trent reaching record levels. The county itself has had nearly two-thirds of its monthly rainfall in just the first few days of January. And yes, that relentless rain has been widespread through large parts of England and Wales. The good news is the outlook turns drier, it also turns colder. Plus, the Health Secretary has warned the six-day walkout by junior doctors in England is having very serious consequences for patients and other NHS workers. Well, the doctor may not see you now. Patients today may well struggle to get an appointment as thousands of junior doctors working in local surgeries like this are on strike as well. Also on the programme, Queen Camilla gives a rare insight into King Charles's special talents. I've never been able to master the art of mimicry, but uh, my husband, he does it really. He can do all the voices. It is Her Majesty the Podcaster will be joined by friend of the Queen, Giles Brandreth, to reveal the royal's love of reading. What have you done today to make you feel proud? And the unstoppable singer Heather Small joins us to talk motivational music, soulful singing, and why her songs are loved by everyone from media moguls to MPs. Friday, 5th of January, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Charlotte Hawkins. Hello there, a very good morning to you. Welcome to the programme this morning. It has just gone six o'clock. I am very much looking forward to speaking to Heather Small later and talking to her about how her songs are used because they've been used in quite a lot of different ways, haven't yes. they, over the years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're inspiring, motivational, inspirational yes. songs. Oprah Winfrey used yes, Proud. Yes, she did, didn't she? But it has also been used by politicians. They get hijacked quite significantly. Yeah. This